hope we see a lot of that. Deuce is loose. Deuce Vaughn, shout out to the rookie. We'll see how he does this year for the Dallas Cowboys. You know, I've got to say, I'm as excited as I can be about the season. Um, I'm actually got back home today uh, from work on the Red Brick House, and uh, we're in here working on stuff for the Red Brick House. I've got these old balusters from the front porch, but I'm missing some, so I'm actually out here trying to see if I can actually make them. Not bad. Not bad. Not exact. But freehand done. I am pretty, pretty good with this shit. Anyway. Here's a question for you guys. Um, what's great about being Joe the Fan is we can question everything. Okay, We don't have any ramifications on things that we say the team should do. And we have a short memory as far as when we say things that end up being hmm, so wrong. You know what I mean? Um, we can kind of move on because our job and our livelihood isn't at stake. In fact, you can say that even with the pundits out there, those guys, really there's no ramifications against them if they're wrong. They just keep on doing what they do. Now, if you actually work for the team and you're wrong, well... Your livelihood is at stake. Here's a real question for you because, you know, the Cowboys, you only have so much money to work with, okay? And you have to make decisions that may not be popular, but are money decisions. Zeke Elliott is a money decision. Um, and we saw when we ended up turning over a lot of players at one time, we still actually played well, but you wonder... Maybe if we had kept Amari Cooper, that maybe we would have been in better shape. Just probably would have. Uh, we don't know for sure because, of course, it's only speculation. But you have to believe that Amari Cooper would have been better than Noah Brown for us. I do. One of the things the Cowboys seem to be doing and focusing on now, and we hear that the coaching staff is a little bit different than where the front office is. The front office wants to have Tyron Smith starting left tackle and probably move Tyler Smith to left guard. Tyron Smith, it's not any longer if he'll get injured, but when he gets injured. So the question is, is that a good move for the Cowboys depending on Tyron Smith? Here's what I'm going to say. The Cowboys are very, very fortunate that Tyler Smith has actually become not a swing tackle. He's kind of like a swing tackle guard. He was originally going to play guard last year until Tyron Smith got hurt. And you look at him and figure he's going to be able to play either one of the two. Now, ultimately... What he wants to be, or will be come contract time, is left tackle gets paid a lot more than left guard. That is the premier position, and that's where you're going to get all your money. So ultimately, he wants to be that left tackle, I would believe, for financial reasons. But it's also being that spot on the island. And because Tyler Smith is that good that you can play him at guard, well, you roll the dice for as long as you can. And that enables you to have the best offensive line out there. Chimo Igato, okay? I, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it right. And I always say, don't know what I got from Mr. Robato, okay? Robato, Igato, you know, get me my gato. You know, I, I don't know exactly, but you know who I'm talking about. The former Jets um, offensive guard. He has experience, which is good. But if we're saying the difference between Tyler Smith and Igato, Tyler Smith is probably going to be your better left guard. And you basically will roll the dice for as long as you can with Tyron Smith. If Tyron Smith, of course, um, gets injured, then you go to Igato. 
And the better thing, at least the good thing here is, and, and I almost wonder if when we have lesser games, that maybe you start looking and saying, let's let the big fella have some breaks. Let's rest Tyron Smith. Let's get him off the field for some time so that way we can keep him and keep the best offensive line going into the playoffs. Look at saying, maybe we can rotate on some of these games where it's not critical. You follow what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and understand that he is older. He does have an older man's body. He does break down. Let's put that into the cake as we're baking it and understand this is what we have to do to make sure that he is going to be there when it counts the most. That would be my thoughts on where we are as far as Tyron Smith and if Tyron Smith um, should be counted on as a starter. Um, finding left tackles is hard. It's very, very hard. And um, Tyron Smith, if he's healthy, is one of the best. And if it ends up being that we start out the season with him and the best offensive line that we can have out there, and we get to a good start early on, maybe we can coast later in the season going into the playoffs. So, that's what I'm thinking here in the workshop. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to take this right here. See that? And I'm going to turn it into this. This to this. Make magic happen. I love working here in my workshop, man. There's nothing better. Nothing better than being able to do what I do here. Hope you all are having a great day. And uh, looks like it's raining outside. Um, I was going to go back outside and do a few more things, but I guess that's not going to happen. Anyway, deuce is loose. Um, might be giving this away tomorrow night. Tomorrow during our live stream. And also, too, tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to premiere a new piece. From Joe Boo's workshop. Oh man, all you tailgate members, you're getting one. Yes, you're getting one. And now we got silver balls. Silver balls. Silver balls. Yeah, we got silver balls. So we're going to be working on getting you guys your balls, your balls, your balls shipped out to you. Shout out to all the channel members. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. All right, peace out.